The Mahmoud Ribadu Square in Yola, Adamawa State, is the venue of the flag off of the SDP presidential and governorship campaigns. Hundreds of party faithfuls and supporters throng the venue of the event as early as 8 a.m. as they await the arrival of their August visitors. Addressing the gathering, the SDP presidential candidate appreciates the people for the warm welcome, promising residents of addressing the development and economic needs of the state. We promise you every local government in Adamawa State will know peace. We will defeat the terrorists, we will defeat the cattle rustlers, we will defeat the bandits, who we'll have a strong army to protect the people of Adamawa State and the people of Northeast and the people of Nigeria. We will open the economy, we will build more universities, we will fund the roads and you will enjoy the government of the people. The party chairman presents the party's governorship candidate in the state, Dr. Umar Adu, a former aide to President Goodluck Jonathan, and his running mate, Yusuf Sunday, a human rights activist. Nigeria. Speaking to Channel's television after the event, the SDP governorship candidate for Adamawa State says he would always put the interests of the people first, just as the national chairman of the party assures Nigerians that the era of intimidation and harassing of voters is over. I have been fighting for their rights, trying, struggling to get their rights given back to them for 14 years. I've always taking their interests first. I have never, ever fought for self-service. An average Nigerian wants to exercise his franchise. The era of domination, intimidation, and harassment is gone. The era of snatching ballot paper or tom printing is gone. Reality is done, is that everybody's those steps. So uh, it's not just in Adama that we have seen this, we have just seen this in other states now. So it's good for the country, it's good for democracy, it's good for, for strengthening our strong uh, democratic institutions. With this flag off of the governorship campaign in Adamawa State, the stage is now set for the SDP to work towards wooing voters to their side in 2023.